Okay guys, it's time for another tutorial today and I'm going to be covering uh, Twitch which was used uh, very lightly in Confound. It's kind of being abused lately by a lot of video editors in CSS and Solderfront so uh, I mean the effects are really nice but uh, if they're overused then they uh, can start to really look pretty bad and uh, basically just annoy people. So um, basically if you don't have it or do you have to go buy it uh, or of course you know get it some someplace um, buy now it's forty five dollars on the video copilot site now since I've been getting a question about this uh, I'm gonna show you how to apply it but uh, there are tutorials if you do buy it there are tutorials in the pack which teach you how to use it so um, and there's a lot of more use useful stuff in there but today we're just going to be covering the RGB split and how it works in frag videos. So uh, go into After Effects and let me just give you a quick look at what we are going to be doing. So that was a scene from Alt F4. And so what we're going to do to create our effect is first we're going to go to Composition, New Composition. I'm going to make this 1280 by 720, 29.97 frames, and I'll just make it 10 seconds long, square pixels. So basically the HDV preset. So we're going to drag in our video here. Okay, so with our video in, uh, we are going to apply the Twitch effect. So go to Effect, Video Copilot, Twitch. Now, when we have this applied, right now it's going to do nothing. So what we need to do is we need to enable what we want it to do. So if we go into Enable, uh, I'm going to enable Slide, which basically slides the image, and Light. Now you can experiment with color, blur, you know, scale, and time is really nice. I like how it jitters forward and backwards, but for this we are just going to be using light and slide. So now, now with that said, it's going to do this a lot, so we don't want that. We're going to put this to 2 and this to maybe 50, or no, 37. So we have a bit more calm movement. Now to make it split the red, green and blue channels, we want to go down to behavior, or sorry, operator controls. And when we're in here, we want to go to our um, slide and put the slide RGB up. Oop. When we put our slide RGB up, you can see it gives us this 3D glasses kind of effect. But it looks really nice. So if we preview now. You can see we have the effect applied. So yeah, I suggest you uh, mess around with these settings. Uh, if you have any questions, go to artificialanimation.net uh, and uh, or sorry, artificialanimation.net forward slash forum and post there. Or just leave a comment and uh, I'll reply to you as soon as possible. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel uh, for more tutorials. I will be updating this basically near to a daily basis if I can. Also, uh, some news on our site. We've uh, taken down the main Flash site so that it just redirects to our forums now because we are working on a another site that's basically going to allow you to purchase some tutorials or a tutorial pack and other products we may come out with later uh, which is going to be great for anything uh, frag related frag video related and um, we haven't got a price yet for it or anything like that it's basically just uh, just on paper and we haven't really done anything with it yet but um, just thought I'd say that keep you guys updated. Anyways, that's all from me. It is 0039, so it's basically 1239am. I think I'm going to head out soon. And that's it. Goodbye.